Customers love an easy to join wireless network. They like the convenience. You want your customers happy, but you also need to protect your company resources as much as possible. You can have the best of both worlds. You just need to set up a wireless guest network with a captive portal. A captive portal shows a special web page that customers must go through before they can access the wireless network. This can give guests the confidence that they are connecting to a legitimate site, as well as cover you from some possible liabilities. If you use Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD, this is a simple process. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure a guest wireless network captive portal using CBD. Before you start, there are some prerequisites. First, make sure your Cisco Business Wireless devices and your Cisco Business Dashboard are running the most recent firmware available. Captive portal support in CBD is a new feature that was added recently. See the links in the description if you need assistance with a firmware update. Second, make sure you have a publicly registered, fully qualified domain name, and you've got an SSL certificate from a commercial certificate authority installed. You could be using Let's Encrypt, which is built into the CBD platform, or it could be something you got from a commercial vendor. Once you're ready to get started, open Cisco Business Dashboard and navigate to Network Configuration and then Guest Portals. Every organization has a unique guest portal. This is the web page that people sign into. It is here that they approve and say that they will accept the terms of use when they connect onto the wireless network. For this example, I'll be using the Lab2 organization. Select the organization you wish to use. Now click on Edit. This is where you can customize how things look. In here, there are a lot of options for customization. Choose the header you want at the top of the screen. I'll use My Business. Select a custom background or logo images. Just find the graphic you want to use and drag and drop these onto the screen. You can adjust the various colors for the background and foreground, as well as the fonts and labels of various buttons. You can customize the browser header text, a title for the portal, and an acceptable use policy. This can state acceptable uses for the network or even list what is not acceptable. Customize it to your needs. Think about how you want the page to look when they log in. Is it a known user that you want entering usernames and passwords? Do you just want them to consent to the acceptable use policies? Or do you want them to enter in an email address? Once you've entered your customizations, select Preview. You can then see what it's gonna look like. You can adjust as needed. Don't like any of it? No worries. Press the Reset to Defaults button on the right side of the screen to start over completely. Once you have this looking the way you want, hit the Update button and it'll write these changes into the network. Next, go to Wireless LANs. This is where you actually make the wireless network that you want to use for your guests. Click on Add and enter a profile name. I'll use Guest Networks. Now, select the organization. I'll use Lab2 again and select the group of devices. Next, click on the plus icon to create the wireless network. Enter in the SSID, what you want the network to display for a name. Choose the VLAN ID you want to associate it with, and then select the security as guest. Finally, you can choose the guest authentication method. I'm using web consent for this example. Under advanced, there are a few more options. I'm going to leave these alone, click save, and then save one more time. At this point, it should start pushing out the configuration to all of my wireless LANs. Now, to test it, go ahead and disconnect from the network you are currently on. Go to the list of available wireless networks and you should see the one you created. Here, you can see the My Business Guests wireless network that I created. When I click Connect, it will open up the web browser since I chose Web Authentication. It will redirect me to my login page after a few seconds. You can see that it is showing correctly with all my customized settings. If I click the checkbox and connect, I'll be able to connect to the guest network that was just created. That's all there is to the configuration of a wireless guest network captive portal using Cisco Business Dashboard. Thanks for watching.
I'll see you next time.